What's up, guys? I hope you enjoyed that little clip from Blue Collar. We're back home. We're back out of Florida. I mean, that's actually our second home is Florida. So we are back in Tennessee. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the background. I know the backyard looks completely different right now. And you're going to have to wait to the next video to get the details on that. Um, actually, that you can actually see the field. Like, you can't just see the backyard anymore. You can see the whole entire field. And... I'm sure most of you guys are going to know what's going on, but you're going to have to wait till the next video to see exactly what's going on. Uh, guys, this is where it gets a little sad, and uh, we have lost one of our biggest fans. Somebody that's followed the channel from day one. Uh, his name is Matthew. Matthew Perrion was his full name, and I hope, you know, it don't upset anybody that I'm putting it out there, but... This kid deserves it. He loved our YouTube channel. He followed every move that I made. He was always, always talking about our YouTube channel and his family. And uh, he was a good kid. He was 18 years old. He volunteered at the fire department here in Etowah, which is right down the road from us. Um, he volunteered there for the last four years, since he was 14 years old. He worked over here at the Law C, and that's what happened. He was on his way to work. Um, you know, it was really early in the morning, headed to work. Uh, the Lost Sea is this place over here. There's a cave. You go underground. It's like really, really cool place. And it's hard work. Like you got to crawl up under a lot of walking. Um, like I'm talking, you got to walk miles down into this cave. It's always cold. It's, it's a fun job, but it's also a pretty harsh job. And Matthew is always smiling. He's always cracking jokes always uplifting somebody this is the most positive person you'd ever be around and it sucks that somebody like that's taken out so early i'm sure he's up there right now looking down on us smiling especially if he's looking down knowing he's on this youtube channel because he loved our youtube channel he loved interacting with the fans um on the comments it sucks that we're losing such a good person so early i mean he really was a good kid he loved diesels loved them fire trucks um i actually wanted to haul his casket with the the peterbilt or one of his favorite trucks maybe the air force truck but they're gonna they're gonna use a fire truck and um i think in the accident it was actually with a semi truck so i didn't really want to upset the mom too much the family but guys if you're watching this um the the gentry family the gns fans the whole community, we're all going to be praying for you guys. And uh, I'm sorry, Matthew, you know, he left this world so early. But he is in a lot better place. And I promise you that kid's looking down on us, smiling, cracking jokes right now. Probably just plum tickled to death that everybody's celebrating his life. I know it's a very negative thing, but he wouldn't want anything negative to come out of this. He would want us to all smile and be happy. So... Matthew, fly high, brother. You know, we'll take it from here. And guys, I hope you pray for him and pray for his family. And uh, for you guys that are having a rough Christmas this year, I know it's a bad year. I know it's hard to get gifts. Um, we're actually not going to do gifts this year. Uh, this is some, I think, you know, whatever Santa brings the kids, they're going to get. But we're going to go on a little trip. Um it's not right that all these families are suffering this year all these families ain't able to buy christmas dinner um you know it's killing me like i hate it i hate that for all these people we've gotten a lot of emails and a lot of people's reached out to us hoping we could help them 
and we're attempting to help some people out you know the ones we can we're not going to give gifts out we're not going to pay for gifts you know if you need some clothes you need a place warm to stay um if you know we've helped out with that for, with a few people um but we're not going to do gifts uh just we can't do that we're going to do a food so on christmas there's a truck stop down here local and every year there's trucks down there the place is packed drivers that are stuck out here for christmas you know a lot of them drivers ain't fortunate and ain't got a lot of money you can't go in there and get a christmas dinner stuff like that so we're going to be out there christmas day guys if you're in tennessee on i-75 near the nyota pilot truck stop um that's where we're going to be we're going to be out there handing out food trays um we're going to get some turkey we're going to get some dressing stuff like that stuff that you'd want to eat on christmas day and we're going to be out there handing it out to you guys so um i hope i don't see you there i hope you're there you know home with your family but if we do see you there you know i will be looking forward to that so um we'll be seeing you there guys shoot us an email bullholler1366 at gmail.com um if you are going to be in the area let us know we kind of know kind of how much food we're going to need to bring um but if you're not on this channel uh hopefully you are after christmas day all right let's hook this old gmc cracker box up you guys ain't got to see this truck yet it is a gmc cracker box 350 big cam it's been stretched got air out on it This is a Freightliner Cascadia rear. Custom built back bumper. It's pretty tough. You ain't breaking that bad boy. We're gonna hook this bad boy up and use it a little bit today. Check this out. Check this out. 1985. So this thing was running through Maine in 1985. Old fuel surcharge or fuel stickers. North Carolina 1988. Idaho fuel permit number. That is old school right there. So this thing is last time it was ran is like 80 something. She is back alive. So check these doors out, guys. These things are awesome. So we're gonna fire this thing up and actually see what it runs like. Look at this thing. Holy crap. Can you imagine driving across country in this bad boy? I could definitely do it for sure. No air conditioner, but you get, oh no, this one does have AC. Look, AC. 13 speed. All right, let's fire it up, guys. I'm assuming it's a push button. Oh, we're going to have to put a button in this thing.
other darn thing. Where's the door handle? Oh, shit, that's cool. I need to come in from a little different angle. Well, guys, this is our backhoe guy. This is guy's coming to fix the backhoe. He's actually my neighbor. His name's Danny. Um, so the backhoe, um, the sprags are broke in the pump on the drives of the transmission. It ain't the torque converter. It ain't electrical. The guy at Royal King lied to me. It had nothing to do with electronics. We rewired all that to make sure it wasn't. And, uh, I mean, the sucker didn't pull at all, putting power to it. We put gauges on it, made sure the pump would uh, was gonna pump. No pressure, zero. Forward, backward, the pump is not working. So the Sprags, where it works back and forth, um, over time they wear out, but he's got me an updated kit for it he's gonna put in it. And hopefully we'll get that thing fixed. So we gotta split it apart and then uh, put new pump and all that stuff in it. And I think we'll have us a good backhoe. All right, Braggs, you ready? You're a cameraman. Cameraman today. Alright, here we go.
come up Sweetwater Hill with it, which it done really, really good. But Braxton turned the camera off. I have like a quarter of way through the video, so we didn't get none of that footage. So uh, we'll get some more from it later on. I ain't really got time to go back through town. Man, I really wanted to get show you guys how good it pulled. like this it's in really good shape especially driving i guess with that new style rear ends under it and all that and they uh, um, this is my buddy steve's truck he did a really really good job on it he'd been dying for me to drive it and pull with it and uh, finally today i said you know what i'll take her down the road so uh, now i'm gonna have to buy it i don't know if he'll sell it but i'm gonna have to try to buy it i'd use the heck out of this truck got plenty of power. but I don't know who tuned this truck who did the button springs and all that in it but they did a really good job on it it's got plenty of low end power it's got plenty of mid range plenty of top end for a big cam motor or small cam motor Took his trailer and uh, get back up the house to work. Here she is, guys. It's a simple old Freightliner. It's a Cascadia, I think, is what the cutoff is. Uh, he painted it just like my truck. So 
this is what I want the Air Force truck and the yellow freight liner to be done like. Identical to this right here. He beat me to it. So uh, I met him. He's one of our fans, and he lives local to me. And uh, we've become pretty good friends throughout the last... Kick her up another gear, Brax. Kick it another gear. Um, we came, became pretty good friends over in the last, I guess, year's time now. Um, he helps me out part-time. He helps me with any of the stuff at the house. Uh, helps me with the AC stuff. And, uh, well, I'm helping him with this stuff. It kind of works out, you know. Being buddies and two, having two different traits is a pretty good thing to have. Um, so I'm going to let him actually help me with the Air Force truck and the Freightliner if he wants to help me do the stretches on them and uh, knock them out. That's good, buddy. So, uh, but with us doing the housework right now, I'm going to leave the trailer down here tonight. Uh, it does have our stuff in it, so it's not going to be here long. Um, just so I can get the stuff done up at the house I need to do, and then I can back it right back in. All right, I gotta go up here, get on the high lift now and get the spot ready for that trailer. So I'm gonna back it in. I'm gonna make a spot for it. Where I can just back it in and leave it where it's out of the way for now. So we can uh, get our stuff finished, getting the house done, and then um, and just be out of the way. Cause right now it's right in the driveway and it's right in the way. put inside a garage. We got too much stuff. We're gonna be doing a fire sale, guys. So, um, anything that I'm not gonna be using or fixing in the next couple years, uh, probably won't sell many cab overs, but uh, anything else, dry boxes, some reefers, probably got some different trailers i'm going to sell i got that jet ski for sale it's sitting right there uh it's a yamaha I never even started the darn thing um all kinds of stuff fedex truck probably gonna sell it i got a peterbilt i'm gonna sell uh a couple freight liners tractor i mean there's all kinds of stuff we're gonna sell so i'll be putting all that up i'll probably make a video with everything i'm gonna sell and then uh you guys, I'll make a, an email for just the stuff we're going for, you know, sell. W900. Oh, you're trading for the W900? Yeah, but the truck ain't for sale. It's, it's This truck's for my daddy. If I had that W900, daddy would look down and smile at that big shiny wheel truck. <laughs> I'm telling you, out of all the cab overs I've ever driven, this is probably my top five. Like, it's that smooth. It runs that good. I did all right then, huh? Yes, you did. I got to say. I... 100,000% give it to you on this one. I didn't expect it. You know, I was thinking it'd be pretty decent, but no, it rides good, it pulls good, it's geared just perfect. Had enough motor? It's got enough motor. I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't, you know, I was wanting to turn it up, you know. No, let's leave it. Awesome. I was worried about it with them 342 gears. No, man, I come up Sweetwater Hill and, um, and I split it down one and went up one, so. Um, I mean, almost high gear and it with that trailer, and it's loaded. I mean, it ain't yeah, loaded heavy, heavy, but, but it's loaded. <laughs> so yeah, I would leave her just like it is. You like that Jake? Love the Jake. Got plenty of Jake footage. Uh, pulls good though. It pulls really good. That air ride's smooth too, isn't it? It is. God, now you've motivated me to finish mine. <laughs> That's what you needed. 
That's what I needed right there. You know who motivated me, and I've motivated you back. Yep. So, uh, when do you want to start? Tonight? <laughs> Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning sounds good. Yep. Oh, I like it. I like it, Steve. I really do. Guys, I think you did a great job on it. Awesome. I'm glad to get your stamp of approval. Oh, uh, you got it. First trick I ever touched. Stamp. <laughs> The guys, he built this off the YouTube channel, so pretty cool that we're motivating people to do stuff like this.